Hey there, YouTube friends and family. It's the guy with Beard, Guns, and Gear. Just doing a little maintenance. Just came back from the range. Uh, and I'll say this. Like, if you go out shooting and it's cold, like I do, when you what you want to do when you come back in, leave your firearms sit for a bit so they sweat, they reacclimatize to, you know, room temperature before you wipe them down. Otherwise, you'll wipe off all the surface stuff and then as it warms up, it will start sweating so you'll end up with condensation. So these rifles have been sitting in here, or these firearms, I should say, because I have my pistol out as well, um, have been sitting for a little while and they are basically room temperature. So I gave them a nice cleaning and uh, I just wanted to do a sum up. We took the Bergara out and it fired excellent. I mean, we tried all kinds of different ammo and it was weird because the first time I was trying to sight this in, uh, and again, this is with the bedding issue, uh, we were getting like way different results depending, on, and, and I expect there to be different results depending on the types of ammo, but I mean, we were getting like five inch differences uh, depending on some of the ammo. Now it seems to be very well centered uh, and we have very minor like issues, like maybe a quarter to a half an inch depending on the types. So what I found to shoot really well out of this is, of course, as advertised, the Hornady Max 140. And I also tried the Federal Premium in uh, a 130 grain, and that shot really well as well. So that groups, I think we were getting, you know, three quarters of an inch, uh, 0 0.60 to three quarters of an inch. We didn't bring anything to measure the grouping, so we were just like estimating, uh, but it was shorter than a one inch screw. So anyway, Take care of your firearms, they will take care of you. And we had an amazing day out at the range today, albeit a little bit cold in the shade, but this thing shot amazing and I'm so happy with it now. It is lights out, I'll tell you. My son was shooting and I think he was getting like half an inch or even less uh, at some points with like a four or five inch grouping. So one round for warming and then he was going right into grouping and he was getting amazing groupings with this. So. Uh, this thing is a lights out tack driver now, and I'm so happy with it. My son absolutely loves it. Uh, you can see, watch in the video, and you'll see how very little this 419 uh, Hellfire muzzle brake is a beast. Low right. Yeah, I see that. I don't know why I'm getting that low right shot off the beginning, other than my bag slipped a bit. Yeah. At least you put it in between the two anyway. Yeah, it was the, the first shot, the bag slipped again. I guess it's grippy, but not as much in the winter. And I mean, you'll see on the video just how little this rifle moves after the shots. And it's a heavy guy too. So, I mean, I don't anticipate it jumping around, but it, it stays very flat and smooth. And again, if you want to check those out, I, I mean, I don't have a link in the description or anything. They're not hard to find, but they're hard to find in Canada. But it's Area 419 uh, Hellfire, and they actually put together a performance package. That's how they're labeling it for the Bergara uh, B14 series, which comes with the scope mount and the Picatinny rail right here that you can see that I've got the Magpul um, bipod on. Uh, don't forget to click that like, subscribe please, helps me out, and I can keep doing videos for this. If you guys want, oh, probably price point, I should talk about the price on this. Everything, I know that you guys have seen this already, but this whole rifle, with everything, is about, I'd say at the boat, the $1,800, maybe $2,000 range with the bipod, uh, and it's fantastic, I love it. It, it, for me, it performs as much as rifles uh, that are maybe not twice as much because, you know, at a certain point you do get what you're uh, paying for. 
But I got the good old Bushnell on the top. So all you guys are hating on Bushnells, this Engage is amazing and I love it. I mean, I, I don't know. I'd like to have a five, you want to give me a $5,000 uh, scope, I'll put it on there and I'll see if I have make a difference. But I'm telling you this Bushnell Engage, if you're looking for a very budget friendly, I really like it. And uh, we'll see you next time.